Connor, thanks now. 648 continuing coverage of President-elect Donald Trump's transition. He took to Truth Social last night proposing sweeping new tariffs when he takes office. We're talking about a 10% tariff on all goods from China and a 25% tariff on all goods from Mexico and Canada. Our Joe St. George joining us live now from Washington. Obviously, we've uh, known that this was part of his plan, that stepped up tariff. A lot to unpack with this. So, uh, Joe, explain why the president-elect is pushing for these and ultimately who ends up paying for it all. Well, if you ask uh, leaders from Walmart, other economists, they say these tariffs, and let's just put it in layman's terms, right? A tariff is basically a tax on things that get imported from another country. So uh, what business leaders, what economists, Walmart has said, is that ultimately this does get passed on in some form uh, to those who are, who, who are buying it. A former economist to President Joe Biden estimated that uh, these tariffs, tariffs like these, would cost the American uh, taxpayer American consumer around a thousand dollars a year. Now to the why. Uh, President-elect Trump campaigned on this uh, for various reasons. Uh, some believe that increasing tariffs on goods made out of country may encourage goods to be made right here in the United States. But with his social media post, the president-elect is speaking specifically about drug overdoses and fentanyl. Uh, he believes that China is a major culprit for the number of drug overdoses in this country and that the border policies of Canada and Mexico allow those illegal drugs to, to pour into streets all across the country. I mean, I've sat with families who've lost loved ones to fentanyl overdoses. This is the type of bold action that they have been calling for uh, for years if it's allowed to take place. And I, and I stress the word if because there will likely be legal challenges here. And President-elect Trump in the past has spoken about big tariffs and not necessarily following through. That was a hallmark of his of the first uh, Trump administration here. But this is a big deal, right? 10% on goods from China. A lot of toys, electronics, clothes come from China uh, and Canada. Big machinery partner, cars, uh, energy. Uh, we get a lot of our food that end up in Hampton Roads grocery stores uh, from uh, Mexico. So this has the possibility of of of, of increasing goods, uh, increasing the price of goods in exchange perhaps for these countries cracking down on fentanyl, fentanyl policies. So this is a very big deal and a consequential deal. How does he do it? Most legal scholars say that he would have to declare a national emergency on day one, something he says he wants to do. That would open up some new powers to him. But likely, again, lawsuits would be possible here. We'll stay on top of this, Blaine. Big deal for a lot of people, potentially. All right, Joe St. George live for us this morning in Washington. Thanks for being part of our show and a happy early Thanksgiving. We'll